Hi, this is Brandon Yells from the implementation team. Today we're going to be discussing customer special pricing. So if I pull up our documentation on order in which pricing is applied, we'll see that special pricing is number two on our list. Pull up sales pad here. So there is some security around customer special pricing. So if I go to my admin menu and go to security editor, and I'm going to filter for special pricing. So the first one on the list is customer special pricing here. And so if I click that, you will see there are some security settings around this as well, around adding price levels, um, editing and deleting them. There's also a maintenance screen which allows you to mass update special pricing throughout all customers. That's this checkbox down here. So that's another one that you wanna make sure that is checked. And then new customer special pricing. So this will allow users to be able to create a new record for customer special pricing. So that will wanna be checked as well. Sales line special pricing import would be if you're importing pricing through an Excel sheet. So that is not necessary for this tutorial. So now if I pull up one of my customers here, and if I go to a tab on my walk-in customer here and click this special pricing tab, this is where you will define or set up customer special pricing. So there are two different sections to customer special pricing. The left side is customer item class price levels. So what that is used for is if I click new class level, all I'm doing here is defining every time that this walk-in customer buys an item in a specific class. So if I choose uh, cabinets, for example, they're going to get that item at a specific price level. So maybe a special price level. Whereas you know every other customer might be getting this item class at a standard price level, this really allows me, based on the item class, what price level they're gonna get that item at. The main section for customer special pricing is this right side, the custom pricing section. So if I wanna add a new customer special price, I can click this new custom price button here, and that's gonna pull up this new customer special pricing screen. So from here, I can key in my item number or click the ellipsis here. So I had an M1500 here, my 15 inch monitor. Can define what I want my unit of measure to be, what price I want them to get that at. I can specify a begin and end date as well. So anytime they buy this M1500, they're gonna get it at this price only up maybe for the next two years I wanted to do, or maybe for the next three months. And then there's also a start and end quantity. So I can set this where they will get a price of $45 for this item if they buy more than 10 of them at one time, or if they buy between 10 and 20 of them. So you can kind of do pricing levels through this as well. And once I hit okay, you'll see that it adds an entry for my custom pricing here. So now if we wanna see it in action, I can click start a new order here. Go to new type in my item here. Now you'll see that nothing happens right now because I only have a quantity of one on here. But if I go quantity of 11 and hit tab, you'll notice that it repriced from $135 to $45. Now there's also a special pricing maintenance around this as well. So if I go to my sales tab and there's a maintenance section in here, there's a special pricing maintenance screen. So if I click that, what this screen would allow you to do is actually look and see all your customer special pricing that you have set up and do a one-time update to all of those prices for all of your customers. So you could do it by item, item class, a customer, a customer class, and you have some update options in here as well. So for example, the economy's gotten better and my new price is you know, 100% of what it is right now. Maybe I wanna do 105% of what it is now. And I can click the calculate button here and you can see that it actually tells you what your new price is gonna be for that item. 
And so once you've highlighted all those and you hit the apply button, now that'll take your new price and update all the customer special pricing based on what you type in your update options here at the top. Outside of that, that is everything on customer special pricing. Thanks for watching.